So this is uh, SRI 8610C. My name's Hugh, and uh, we use the term "bake out your GC" frequently, but uh, we mean a number of different things by the term "bake out." So one um, one definition of baking out is to clean out the polishing filter on the GC. So SRI builds a little filter into the GC, which is located immediately behind and to the left of the column oven. This filter catches impurities in the carrier gas as it flows through. It also catches little traces of machining oils and debris that's left over from putting the GC together in the first place. So when the polishing filter gets contaminated, it can sometimes cause drifting baselines or noise. So it's a good idea to periodically bake the polishing filter out. To do that, there's a switch on the front panel. It's a spring-loaded switch, so all you have to do is flip it to the up position, and the light goes on for five minutes, and the heater that's around the trap also goes on for five minutes. So the contaminants that are baked out of that little polishing filter go the same path as the carrier gas would normally go, so that means it would go through the column and end up at the detector. So this is both a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that if you have the column and the detector that can see the contamination, you can assess how much contamination there really was in the filter. And that's useful to know so that you can schedule a, a repeat bake out in a week or two, depending on how big the, the, the peak is that comes from the contamination coming out of the polishing filter. So let's go look and see what that kind of a, a peak looks like. This is what a typical polishing filter contamination looks like on a flame ionization detector and a capillary column. So the contamination coming out of the polishing filter makes this big lump, kind of ugly lump, and um, when we do the, the bake out a second time, we'll see that this lump is largely gone. So that's how we know that the polishing filter is now clean. So one definition of baking out means to heat up the polishing filter on the gas chromatograph to get rid of the contamination that has been retained by the polishing filter. And typically, we like to bake out the polishing filter without making any other changes or adjustments to the GC. So that means the contamination from the polishing filter ends up going through the column and then off to the detector. Most columns are fine with this. There are, however, a couple of columns where you really don't want to bake the contamination of the polishing filter out into the column itself. The reason for that is, is that a column like a molecular sieve absorbs water very strongly, and most of what comes out of the polishing filter is water, so that would actually um, be inconvenient. To, to bake the polishing filter out into the column would then mean you'd have to bake the column out to get rid of that contamination. So if that's going to be a problem, what we suggest you do is while you're baking the polishing filter out is to remove the septum nut from the GC. This is hot, that's why I'm handling it with a cloth. So now the contamination from the polishing filter, instead of going onto the column, it all exits out the front of the GC and none of it gets onto the column. So you would choose to do that when you had something like a molecular sieve column in the GC. If you have any other kind of column, it probably doesn't matter whether you bake the contamination out into the atmosphere or into the column. If you go into the column, the benefit is you can see how much there is of it. If you go out to the atmosphere, you don't really get that useful bit of information. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so another meaning of the word bake out is to bake out the column itself. So this is a capillary column that has a temperature limit of over 400 degrees. So if we were baking this kind of a column out, this is a Restec MXT 500 SIMDIS, it's, it's meant to be a very high temperature column. So it's easy to bake this one out at 400 degrees or 350 or whatever you think is safe, but you have to know which column it is that you have in your oven because some columns don't have that high of a temperature limit. So for instance, here's another column from Restec, and this one, MXT1, says maximum program temperature 360 degrees and minimum bleed at 270 degrees. Well, what they're really saying to you is you can't really take it to three over 360 degrees, and if you do take it to 360 degrees, 
degrees, then you, you can't stay there for very long because that's called a programmed temperature. So really, the maximum temperature of this column to be safe is probably more like 330 or 340 degrees. You really don't want to go right to the limit of what Restec says is safe for a very small amount of time. And then here they're also telling you that the minimum bleed at 270, well, what that means is if you go over 270, you can expect that there's going to be lots of increased baseline bleed, which is a kind of a rise in the baseline when you go over a certain temperature. Unfortunately, they don't always put the maximum temperatures on the tag on the column. You see there's, there's no mention of the, of the maximum temperature on the tag. So you have to really note it when you open the box. The, bo the box has the maximum temperature, but the column itself doesn't say. You can always go to Restex website and look it up, and that's what you should do if you're not sure what the maximum safe temperature of the column is. So to bake out the column, as distinct from baking out the polishing filter, to bake out the column, you're just going to set the column oven temperature somewhere close to the maximum temperature of the column, but not at the maximum temperature of the column. You're going to sit it. If this, if this one, for instance, was set to 350 degrees, you wouldn't want to bake a column out that only had a 300 degree maximum temperature limit at 350 degrees because that would probably damage the column. Maybe not, but probably would. So a pack column like this has particles of material inside. This particular one is a molecular sieve 13X column, and it has a temperature limit of at least 350 degrees centigrade, so hard to really heat this one up too hot. But there are many columns, especially these older pack columns, where the temperature limits are only 150 degrees. So you have to be careful not to exceed the maximum temperature, otherwise definitely going to damage the column. It sometimes happens that there's more than one column in a column oven, sometimes two or three or four. So you really have to know which column can take which temperature. And then when you are baking the column out, you may have to remove the column that doesn't have as high of a temperature limit from the oven in order to bake out the one that does have the higher temperature limit. A related topic on this is the oven maximum temperature setting on the GC. To avoid damaging columns, the, the GC has a setting called the oven max, and right now this one is set to 261 degrees. So if the actual temperature of the column oven or the set temperature of the column oven exceeds 261 degrees, then this little red light on the front of the GC comes on telling you that you've exceeded the, the oven maximum temperature. And this is a safety thing that you dial in with the screwdriver, with the SRI screwdriver, you, you adjust this to whatever temperature you feel is safe for the column that you have. And this way it prevents somebody from making a mistake, typing too many zeros, setting the temperature to a very high temperature that would damage the column. This will stop the, the GC from going um, above whatever you set. So that's it. That's the, the topic of baking out. And um, give us a call or Google up on the web if you don't know the maximum temperature of your column, and it's good to know before you heat it up too high. An example of a really dirty polishing filter. Look at all these peaks that came out of that polishing filter when we heated it up. Just a ton of them. So this was a this was a polishing filter that really needed to be baked out. So this is the the red is the first bake out of the polishing filter. And this black line is the second bake out. You can see that the polishing filter is dramatically cleaner on this uh, second heating than it was on the first.